Hello, this is a short video about uh, a robotic right hemicolectomy using the newly launched DaVinci 5 or DV5. My name is Dr. Amir Sparza. Um, this uh, was one of the first uh, cases done in the state uh, using this new technology. And I'm trying to show you here um, the way it was utilized. Um, I'm going to describe a little bit the surgery, but a little bit of the benefits of the TV5 as well on this video. Um, here I'm using the electrocautery scissors to um, make an incision over the peritoneum of the iliocolotic pedicle so I can enter the retroperitoneum here. The amount of energy was very easy to be modified, uh, the robotic console. I did not need it to have a nurse or anyone uh, switching the energy um, at bedside. So that facilitated and um, the efficiency of, of the tasks. This is a non-resectable uh, sequel polyp. And uh, I'm taking a... Um, uh, an appropriate amount of uh, iliocolonic pedicle off uh, for this case. There you can see the duodenum, which I'm trying to bring down to the retroperitoneum, and using a wide load uh, robotic stapler, I transected the the pedicle. The timing of loading uh, is very quick in this robot, as well as you could see the the signal of uh, safety when the assistant is introducing any instrument it will show and uh, will target where it will be going. Um, I will show you more spaces. Here is that one. Uh, when there's a green dot, it, it means that uh, when they are pushing it, it's not going to hit any uh, structures there. So it's a very, very useful tool here. Um, as usual, you know, a medium to lateral dissection is uh, created on this is a very thin patient, um, and the structures are are as well very delicate. Here I'm using uh, uh, the forearm adequately to create that space. I'm taking the mesentery of the terminal ilium to perform the transection at that at that portion. Again, bringing down the retroperitoneal instructions. The vessel sealer is the same one as the XI. The speed is as well the same. Um, there is no much difference on, on that instrument. As same as the XI, you can uh, switch to ICG green uh, from the console as well. Here I'm inserting a green load. Uh, stapler. And the transaction is performed. Now I continue um, the dissection, in this case, lateral to medial. Here, as you can see, I'm increasing the coagulation energy uh, so I can go faster because this is a non-viral destruction that I can use the energy in a higher levels to facilitate the and to have efficiency on the movements. The ports also have an included uh, aromatic uh, desufflation, very similar to an air seal uh, device that it prevents it to getting the camera fog or 
or just get an abstracted view because of the smoke. Here I'm lifting the proximal transverse column to cut the mesentery of the of the column. Just uh, distal to the tattooed area. I'm trying to enter the lesser sac and now encounter the dissection that was done um, when I performed the dissection meter to lateral. Yes. I will finish up the last uh, portions of the mesentery right before performing the transaction. This is the tool being guided by the, the robot. Again, ICG Green is uh, activated from the console and transection can be done safely in an area that can has good vascular supply. Another advantage of the DB5 is uh, the feedback that we get on this is a technology that is uh, in progress uh, but allow us to measure the amount of force that we're giving to particular structures. And that will help us uh, not to uh, make damages with uh, our handling tissues. Here I'm performing an enterotomy as usual in the transverse colon, far away from the uh, mesentery. It was a little bleeding at the staple line, uh, so I decided to just uh, make a figure of eight here too. I don't like to use too much energy close to the staple lines uh, because there is a risk of of having a potential leak there yeah it's just a a quick uh, figure of eight and stuff then i'll continue with the with the enterotomy and the most distal portion of the and the contralateral side of the mesenteries to prevent bleeding while stapling. Here the side to side anastomosis is created with a sixty millimeter green load robotic stapler. The common enterotum is closed with a 306 inch V lock. This is performed from the most inferior uh, crotch and uh, going superiorly. Sometimes I use a an assistant five millimeter port for suctioning. And that's uh, what the assistant is doing, just uh, holding tissues for me. The common enterotum is closed in a two layer. The distance between each byte is approximately five millimeters.
Second layer is performed as a Lambert sutures as well for protection. Is using the same uh, uh, stitch. This is uh, the end of the of the procedure. I uh, cut the stitch, and the assistant removes the removes the needle safely. I cover nastomoscular momentum and the specimen is uh, retrieved through a fan steel. This is Dr. Amir Esparza. It was a video of DB5 for a right hemicolectomy. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching.